Hello YouTube and welcome back. This is Nico and you're watching Determinator Gaming. Today we're up in the top of the church in Privy Slavitz. I'm hiding up here looking down on my villagers. I'm the bailiff and I gotta make sure they're not doing anything naughty. But really here, we'll, we'll jump into what we're doing here, but before we do that, I'm gonna do a shameless plug of my channel. So, if you haven't subscribed yet, do it. If you watch these videos even kind of frequently, you know, what, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. If you love Kingdom Come Deliverance, that's what I do here. You know, so you'll see this com uh, content all the time. Now that we got through that, whew, the worst is over. Now we get to the fun part. The topic of this video is going to be a new list that I'm doing for top 10 maces slash bludgeons, you know, so warhammers, all that sort of stuff, for Kingdom Come Deliverance. This one's going to be more inclusive than the last because it's 10, which isn't the total amount of maces in the game, but it's the 10 best ones. So I figure if you're going to be using a mace, you're probably going to be using one of these. Uh, maces are powerhouse weapons. You should not underestimate them. Yeah, they don't look as cool as swords or even axes, but maces are are probably the strongest overall. Now, I'm not talking about max damage, but these weapons are insane. It doesn't matter how much armor someone's wearing, you can kill them pretty quick with a mace in this game. So sit back and enjoy, and we're going to start it off right away with number 10. Unfortunately, since we can't use them on the weapon wheel, uh, I'm going to have to find a different way. Basically, I'm going to try to get as good of a look as I can on the floor. That's why I'm up here, actually, so people don't walk across my weapons while I'm doing the video. Uh, but we'll do that, and then we'll check out the stats. So let's just jump right into it with number 10. So, starting us off right here at number 10, we have the Pernatch, or Pernak, however you say that, uh, as you can probably see from reading that right there. This one is a stereotypical mace. When you think of a mace, this is what you picture. Standard straight wood handle, a little bit of grip at the bottom, with a large winged top. Once we're into the menu, we can see it says, The flanges of this mace are sharpened, so as well as dealing heavy blows, it can slash too. Like other types of maces, it doesn't provide much cover, and therefore is mainly used in combination with a one-handed shield. Obviously, that's what I would recommend. I would recommend using something light and easy, like a common shield, or a wooden human shield, or even the metal human shield. Something small and light pairs really well with a mace. This one, in particular, has a minimum strength level of 7 to use, so it's pretty high, but, you know, it's worth it. Stab damage of 2, so that's pretty low, but you can, you know, bop someone in the head, kind of disorient them with it. Slash damage of 11, so not great, but it's alright considering it's a mace. And a blunt damage of 39 with defense of 28. So 39, that's not too bad for number 10 on the list. Charisma of 11, also not terrible. Durability of 41, meh, alright. Price point of 277, so that's the per notch, I think is how you say it. Next up, at number 9, we have the Morgenstern, or Morgenstern, however you say that. This is a pretty cool looking weapon. I mean, it's not my personal favorite, but it's alright looking. Uh, pretty short wooden handle, uh, but we have this cool looking hollow head at the top with a bunch of spikes on it. So this is a pretty cool looking mace. Something you really picture someone running out of the woods and clubbing you with. Here we can see it says, A mace with a round, star-like head covered in sharp spikes, which can deal a fatal blow to even a well-armored foe. Like other types of maces, it is not the best weapon for defense, blah blah blah. That's the same thing as the last one. Uh, here we have minimum strength of 6, so actually lower than the last one. Stab damage of 10, decent. Slash damage of 2, not very good. And a blunt damage of 40, with defense of 26. But that blunt damage of 40, that's already getting there, you know. That's a pretty effective weapon. Great for disorienting. Charisma of 10, and durability of 40. Neither of those overly impressive. Price point of 222 groschen. Next up, at number 8, we have the Spiked Warhammer. Like most Warhammers in this game, it doesn't look overly impressive when you're looking at it like this. Uh, looks much better in the menu. Uh, unfortunately, that's actually what they were like historically. You know, you don't see these big shirtless guys running around with these giant two-handed hammers with, you know, a 20-pound maul on the top. No, it's more like this. You know, something you can swing with one hand. Uh, this one here looks like it's meant... You know, obviously it's a warhammer, so it's meant for combat. But it's got the metal plating along the side, making it a bit more durable, including a metal, uh, I guess you could call that a pommel on the end. Uh, several spikes on the front part of it, a spike on the back for puncturing armor, and a stabbing point. So, pretty cool weapon. Here we can see, it says, A massive, dangerous weapon made for fighting armored opponents. Its head is covered in spikes that can pierce nearly all armor, and the metal plated handle helps block enemy blows. Just like all Warhammers, this one demands a strong arm behind it. Uh, this has a minimum strength level of 8 to use, so yeah, you do have to be pretty strong. Stab damage of 11, which isn't terrible. St uh, slash damage of 2, not nothing impressive there. Blood damage of 46, which is pretty good. Defense of 29, which is meh. Charisma is 11, which is alright. Durability of 38, not great. Uh, 38, not great. That rhymes. Haha. <laughs> Price point of 305 groschen. So this one's alright looking. Doesn't show... Oh, I don't have it equipped. 
Now I have it equipped. Ooh, fancy. Next up at number seven, we have the Warhammer. Simple name there. This one, uh, it's very straightforward. It has a puncturing point on the back, a blunt point on the front, uh, not much metal plating on the side, and a plain wooden hamel, hammer. Sorry, uh, handle. <laughs> Got hammers on the mind. Uh, so this one's nothing special, but it, it does work pretty well as a weapon. As you can see here, it says, a war hammer with a rough handle and a heavy head. The weight of this fighting instrument guarantees a shattering blow dealt to all enemies, including those with special armor. Wielding it, however, requires sk skill and strength. Wow, that's hard to say. And the handle does not protect much against counterattacks. Well, that makes sense, because it is a wood handle. Uh, this one requires a minimum level of uh, 7 in strength to use. Does only 2 for stab and slash damage, so that's pretty low, but has a pretty decent blunt damage of 47. The defense on this is only 28, charisma is 11, and durability is 45. Again, nothing impressive there, but you're not looking at these weapons for any of those stats. Uh, price point of 321.9 groschen. Next, at number 6, we have our first full metal mace, uh, the Captain's Mace. This one here, uh, pretty ornate design in my opinion. Several flanges on top that uh, I assume could be sharpened, but at the very least come to points. Great for puncturing and blunt damage. Uh, and we have a wrapped handle here, so this is a pretty neat looking weapon. As you can see here, it says a captain's mace, an instrument of justice, capable of metting it out. Oh, I always thought that said meeting, but that says metting. I wonder what that means. Uh, minimum strength level of 8 to use this one. Where is it? Where is it? It's not showing up on my belt. I guess I'm not a captain. Uh, stab and slash damage of 2, nothing impressive there. Uh, blunt damage of 51, which is pretty impressive. Defense of 35, charisma of 11, and durability of 50. Uh, nothing terrible or great there, so... I guess, all right. Uh, price point of 380 for this one. All right, so here at number five, we have the Heavy Warhammer, the first variant with, that shares this name. Uh, this one is full metal, seems to have a cushioned handguard there with a round pommel down at the bottom. Uh, the top is very standard for a Warhammer design with a blunt point on one end, a piercing point on the other for breaking through armor, and a stabbing point on the top. Uh, I love the way this weapon looks, very neat, very orderly. Here we can see it says, a fully metal-plated warhammer that no armor can stop, and which, in the hands of a strong warrior, demands respect on the battlefield and in times of peace. I wonder if in times of peace you're just using it to nail nails. Ah, it's interesting that none of these like to show up on my belt. Anyway, minimum strength level for this one of 10, so we're getting up there. Stab damage of 25, which is decent, but I assume, you know, the point on top helps with that. Slash damage of 2, not great. Blunt damage of 54, pretty great. Defense of 38, meh, charisma of 11, and durability of 50, and a price point of 557. Next up at number 4, we have our fan favorite, the Raven's Beak. This one is a full metal weapon with a wrapped handle. This one looks like it's a little bit bigger, so maybe people are made for people with bigger hands, or I guess people who want to use two hands or whatever. Uh, very standard design. Well, I shouldn't say standard design. It's standard in the way that it's blunt on the front and sharp on the back, but this one appears to be made in the shape of a bird. My guess would be a raven. I don't know where I got that. I, you know, I'm just guessing. Guessing shooting in the dark. Here we can see it says, an ornamented warhammer, known as a raven's beak, in quotes, uh, for its ability to pierce armor. It's forged in one solid piece, so it can take a lot of rough treatment. This one has a minimum strength level of 13 to use, stab damage of 14, slash damage of 3, blunt damage of 55, defense of 43, charisma of 17, and a durability of 65, making it a pretty durable weapon. Uh, not too light with a weight of 6 pounds, though. Uh, or kilograms, I don't know what they're measuring here. Probably kilograms, because it's, you know, almost everything's metric over there. Uh, and here we have a price, which is 1461 groschen. Next, at number three, we have the Heavy Warhammer. So for this one, we're back to the uh, aesthetically appealing design, which is, uh, you know, a wood handle. But it is metal plated on, on all four sides and up near the top. So we're looking at some increased durability there. Uh, it looks, this one I like, because it's got more of a, almost an axe, you know, a slashing side on one side, the blunt hammer side on the other, and then a stabbing point on the top. So this one's a really, really good looking weapon in my opinion. Okay, so it says, a uh, heavy metal plated weapon for strong warriors, with a universal head featuring a spike for penetration, giggity, and a blade for slashing the enemy. Its weight guarantees effectiveness against armored enemies, but only in the hands of a skilled swordsman. Weird that you wouldn't be a hammersman, a, a maceman, a bludgeonsman, you're always a swordsman, no matter what you use. Uh, minimum strength of 10 for this one, so we're getting up there. A uh, stab of 13, slash of 3, and blunt damage of 57. Defense for 36, Charisma for 13, and Durability for 45. Nothing super great there. Charisma's alright, though. 
Uh, price of $6.50, so not too expensive for this one either. Next up at number two, we have the Ceremonial Mace. This uh, this weapon, in my opinion, is, is I think it's good looking, but I wouldn't call it beautiful. Uh, it's got a nice, you know, cushioned uh, brown handle. Uh, it seems to be full metal construction, so it looks durable. The top just kind of goofs me out. If it was, if the flanges came to points in the, right there and right there, you know, on both of the spurs there, if they came to points, I think it'd be a lot more deadly weapon. It just makes more sense. But other than that, awesome weapon, high damage. Let's check it out. So we can see here in the menu it says, A ceremonial mace is a symbol of military status, which is not to say that it's a mere fashion accessory. It serves just as well as a weapon, and the heavy head can put serious dents in an opponent's armor. Or head. Well said, Warhorse, well said. Uh, this weapon has a minimum strength level of 13 to be used efficiently. So that's actually pretty high. Uh, stab damage of 3, slash damage of 3, blunt damage of 61, so man, we're getting up there in the damage. Defense of 43, which isn't terrible. Charisma of 17, which is pretty good. Uh, durability of 81, which is also alright. Uh, and a price point of 1723, so this is by no means a cheap weapon. Okay, so last but certainly not least, at number 1 we have the Bailiff's Mace. Uh, now this weapon is what I would call a beautiful weapon. Although we don't have any wrapping on the handle, so it looks like it might be a little painful to whack people with this, the awesome twisted uh, body of this thing, a full metal I might add, uh, is just amazing. It looks beautiful. And then the top part, we've got all these lovely points, which would be great for puncturing and damaging, you know, armored or unarmed, uh, or unarmored opponents. So I love this weapon. All right, so for this last one, we can see it says, A Bailiff's Mace, an instrument of justice, capable of metting it out, much like the Captain's Mace. Uh, its heavy, ornamented head demands respect, both on the battlefield and off of it. Uh, this weapon is an awesome weapon, and obviously if you played the From the Ashes DLC, which is, you know, what I'm doing this video after, you'll get one of these for free, so... Awesome weapon. Minimum strength level of 10 to use, so middle of the road there. Stab and slash damage of 2. Blunt damage of 61, which is equal to the ceremonial mace. Uh, but it's, you know, alphabetically bailiff is above cer ceremonial, so I guess this one beats it. Uh, defense of 30, charisma of 14, which is pretty good. Durability of 55. Uh, can, um, weight of 4.5, I was about to read off the condition to you. Uh, Price point of 819 groschen, so this is the number one mace. So like I uh, said before, you know, with different armor guides, maces, and, and with this one I should say, maces are the powerhouse weapon in this game. Especially for low skill new players, get a mace. These things smash through any level of armor. They're, they're great weapons, and they're not expensive. Plus, you know, maintenance isn't too bad on them. Uh, if you haven't tried it, make sure you go pick up a good mace and try it out today. Well, that does it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, go ahead and smash that like button. If not, I guess you should give that dislike button a view. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, go ahead and drop them down in the comment section below and I'll do my best to address them as soon as possible. If you like this content or this game, why don't you go ahead and subscribe and turn on notifications so you can stay up to date on all the quality content that I release here. If you need any help navigating, I've got a helpful little link right here on the screen that'll help you subscribe to this channel, and I've also got one that'll lead you to another one of my fantastic videos. But, in any case, thanks for watching, and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.